Wagwan and what's up, it's Josh, welcome back. Today we are reacting to Young Justice, Season 4, Episode 22 and 23. This is the start of the Dick Grayson arc, I'm very excited. Um, yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into it. If you guys enjoy, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the last arc. Um, last arc, I I'll give a brief summary, it was Rocket's arc. Um, and basically in the last episode they found out that... Connor's not dead, he's just missing, kind of. We know he's in the Phantom Zone, they don't know. And um, Zatanna basically said she needs a detective, so this is leading into Dick's arc. Let's get into it. I mean, they tried. They tr they've, they're trying to stop them, which is really good because I I thought they were just going to give up. But I mean, he didn't snap her neck, so his threat was kind of pointless. The thing is, oh daring one, I don't need a trapeze artist. I need a detective. Stick retired? Since when? Why does he look like he's just shit the bed? Uh-oh. He's in trouble. Oh, no, Connor. <sighs> Superman, we need your help. I've got to find another place to drink coffee. Hey, I love how it's all connected, because obviously they went to see Soups. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really happy to see Dick. Um... I don't know what he's been doing. He's clearly like retired. What the fuck's that about? Um, but yeah, Dick Satana, you know, throwback to when they were together, and Clark helping to find Connor. Without going into detail, I had good reason to trust them. Leave it at that for now. I hope the night slot. Wow, Soup's did him like that, you know. That's mental. But that's a bit of a dead end. I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes because I feel like they need Superman's information to be able to save Connor. Or the Buying supplies. Maybe gearing up for a mission. If so, what else would they need? A pack of five inhibitor collars, a space belt, and a Zeta tube power core. I haven't seen Artemis in so long. I've missed her so much. Or Tigress. How are you doing, Boo? Are all Honestly, not sure. But if you had to guess? Well, if I didn't know better, I'd say it was destroyed by a beam fired from a camouflage bioship. Of course, I assume that was a. Oh, Dick Grayson, you are good. You are good. Oh, man, the way he's figured this out of the fucking pictures of the waitress and then of the guy at Connor's and then. <laughs> going up to the lab to assuming the space belt space mission to go into rocket to the lasers from bioship they've got it they've got it these last four episodes are gonna be amazing i know it that unless telling us could make matters worse unless telling us could threaten the time stream itself what if bart the time traveler is with two other time travelers what if they have in mate he's not good he is batman good this this episode he is on levels Batman is on. That is incredible. Superboy, listen to me. We are both in terrible danger. And she speaks. Fucking hell. Been waiting for this for a while. You thought I'd be afraid to enter Fate's Tower, didn't you? Well, I may hate this place, but I can't let you summon me unpunished. And Damn! Clarion's got some fucking nerve this episode! Love that for him. Big ups! I told you, Dick's on form this episode. He's the only one who's stood somewhat of a chance against Clarion so far. Nicely done. He's held up the longest. Um, obviously, I think Z will do loads for as well, but 
Yeah. What do we do? Is it any drop? If you can track down a ten-year-old school bus. Yes, Dick can. Have you just seen what Dick's done this episode? Say less. That fucking school bus is found already. In fact, there seems to be the remnants of a humanoid inside this machine. It's incredible. And not a little horrifying. Wow, so there's... But it was, it's got... Human conscious in it. Which is really cool. Um... I want to know who it is. I By the guardians, this is a human boy, a child from Earth. Okay, I was wrong. Eleven-year-old boy. I can't. I have no idea. I hope they tell me because I have no idea. Well, that was incredibly interesting, especially with the bit at, um, about the. We're going to get into the whole episode quickly in a bit, but the uh, cube being a human boy, 11 years old, that's really stumped me. I don't know what that's about. Um, this episode was awesome um, with Dick and um, being a master detective. He smashed it. Um, I love that Connor is slightly remembering his past life, although he still thinks he killed Cal for some reason. Uh, Phantom Girl we finally heard speak uh, again since episode 4 and she's awake um, the Lawzod is heading to Oa and Dick's tra trying to track down the uh, bus we got to see Clarion again uh, this was like a 10-10 episode this episode smashed out of the park um, right we'll get into the next one <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Wow, we haven't seen him all season so far. Um, this little bastard after backstabbing all of the Outsiders and the Justice League. And just everyone he cared about last season. Um, hi, Brion. Um, good to see you. But I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited to have... Fem and Markovia back. At least mentioned this season at once, so that's kind of cool. Not with Brion anymore. Then I dumped Jack. So if I'm being honest, for a long time I've wanted to be more than friends. Aww, cute. I've I've tripped these two. Well, they had a fu such a fucking good like banter and chemistry last season. So yeah, I'm down with this. I have a home here. My Infinitors and I will protect you. We're like four minutes in and we've not seen anything of Dick. Not that I'm upset we're going to the Phantom Zone, we're seeing more of Connor, but I, I, I want Dick. Oh no! No, I know how that sounds! No, I, I, oh fuck. Oh, I fucked it. Shit! Shit! No, I just, I want, I want Dick Grayson. That, oh, fuck it, we'll move on. My friends and I were trying to protect you. So when you were about to die in that explosion, to to save your life. Oh, okay. This is an explanation. I can go with this. This this works. But between us to the zone. Let go so I can bring you home. I can't leave. I've pledged my loyalty to Zod. <laughs> well, mate, the, the look on her face said it all, really, didn't it? Here we are. <laughs> Fuck it, we've, we've committed. I've got some dick. <laughs> From his traitorous uncle. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. This this girl, she's on to a fact that I think. Oh, is it? Is his name the Whisperer? I feel like it should be, because he he plants ideas in people's heads, doesn't he? I also stopped by the Muslim Student Association and signed up for their orientation. I feel like I have a whole new life starting. That's great, Vi. 
You've come such a long oh. way. I see, was seeing Cyborg and Halo and all of the Outsiders in like the one episode, which is banging. Wait. And I'd love nothing more than for you to be part of his life. But Brion made his choices. You cannot be expected to put your life on hold for him. Big up Terra, man. Terra, I loved the whole twist of Terra. I said this before last season because obviously we all expected her to be bad and then she still picked the Justice League over Deathstroke, which was like mad. And, you know, this season, seeing her kick ass with the Clarion, the child and Clarion storyline in Australia and, you know, Terra, Terra's been amazing. Finitor! Such is the magic of your rule, your highness. They all want to become heroes like you because of you. Mate, I feel a little bad for Brion. He's been snaked so hard by fucking everyone. And it's it sucks. So it does suck for him. I mean he did make the choice to kill his uncle, which was was his choice. But after that, he got he got snaked by everyone. Child, he still you watch over her, though she may never wake. She's awake now. <laughs> oh Connor. What have you done? Oh, you fucked it, lad. Hey, touch! You see Mueller's face? <laughs> he thinks you saved his life. That he's packing his bags as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I like her. I've got a lot of time for her. Can't think of her name. Don't know her name. Not gonna lie. Um, but she's... i got a lot of time for her. She's, like, clued up. <laughs> Did almost as well as my students. Almost as well. The students took fucking ages. I did that in like three seconds. If you... But it gets me out of the house. Puts me on a consistent schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sleeping a little better. Fewer nightmares. You don't look like a you're not being a total dick. You don't look like shit. You know, positives. It only took what episode twenty three. 19 episodes! Wow, Phantom Girl is out of the zone. And on Mars. Um... Is he building something real? Something important? Something built on the foundations of an execution and a coup? I'm not saying I don't have regrets. Damn! Fucking Halo went there! Halo fucking went there! Fair play, lass! Fair play! Challenge Ambassador. Leave. Now. Of course. Uh, this could be his turning point now. If he's pushing his ambassador away who fucking controls him, he could be a turning point for Brian. Oh my god! We've never seen her without her child before. Her hair is really pretty. Wow! During World War II, they were called gremlins. They favor tearing new things apart over putting old things back together, but as you can see, their skills work both ways. Gremlins confirmed in the DC Universe. I'm here for that, that's fucking banging. Wow, that, these last two episodes have been proper 10-10. I, I've loved it, every second. Um, this is a banger. Um, didn't see a lot of dick, but I'm not overly... <laughs> it sounds so, oh, three times, man. Three times in one. Okay, yeah, but, yeah, I, I've proper enjoyed these two. Let's get into the credits anyway. And so we dedicate this site to that partnership. Together. Together. It's about time! They just use plastic, man. It's the scissors. That's fucking jokes. Wow. What a, what a two episodes. Like, I have to say, I think 22, I preferred. I know, I loved them both. Let's get this just clear. I loved them both. They were both 10 10, but I preferred 22 because it was a lot more dick. 
Uh, it was a lot more Nightwing. There was a lot more detective behind it, and for his arc, there was a lot of his character, and it proved how much of a detective he was. Um, this one I loved as well, but it was a different approach. It was a lot more Outsiders, Halo, Breon, Terra. Um, I'm really sort of seeing a side, seeing sort of the season three storyline. That was season three. Terra, Halo, Forager, and to actually get to see some more of that, um, because we haven't seen a lot of it this season, was really great. Um, Connor was an interesting one this episode. He's dedicated himself to completely to um, Zod, uh, and Phantom Girl left him. She woke up and fucking left. It was jokes. Um, but she's back on Mars, and assumably will go and try and find the Legion of Just. Uh, Legion, Legion of Superheroes. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But it, it's wrapping itself up now. You know, it, we are really trying to end in this sort of nice, t neatly tied bow. Um, we've got three episodes left, I believe. Um, but yeah, we've got Young Justice team, main team, other than Miss Martian have gone into the Phantom Zone, or at least what we think is, what they think is the Phantom Zone, whether that's where they'll actually be, we don't know. Um, however, I feel like Miss Martian's going to have to be his crutch, Connor's cut crutch, that is to get out. Although we didn't want to get her hype, hopes up, um, and I completely understand that. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull him out, because he's in quite deep. Um... Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to pull him out of the Phantom Zone. But you could have got out of this episode if he'd listened. But the Phantom Sickness still hasn't completely... Um, I think gone. Um, but yeah. Three more episodes next week. If it is just three more, I might just do one. No, I'll do two more and then the final. I'll do another... Yeah, two more episodes. Um, videos. But yeah, like, like, these two episodes have been proper banging. Um, if you guys enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.